What's going on guys, Mr. Jason back here again with another episode of my mail packages unboxing Nevada print Blu-rays, DVDs, and video games. And we get about six packages here. And if you guys are just new, coming across this channel now when you're new, and if you're not subscribed already, if you enjoy this video, if you enjoy content similar to this, or pretty much all kinds of content, anything like taste tests, food reviews, out and about, more related to physical media, video games, all kinds of stuff, you're into, into any of that, just subscribe, you won't regret it. And if you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you already have subscribed, just returning to watch another one of my videos, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming back and spending more time with me. Appreciate it very much, but we're gonna get right into this. This is, of course, our print physical media being opened up from mill packages, as the title says, and it has been a video series I've been doing for quite a while, and I think this is like episode 88 or something along those lines. And of course, some of the stuff, very rarely I get for myself in my own collection. Lately, financially, I cannot afford to do so. And currently, this is pretty much my main income, so this is what I do. So here we go, opening up the first package. Let's see, one of these here I will say though is for my own collection. And I'm really happy to find it. It's been a long time I've been trying to get a hold of it. But this one's not it. But this is, uh, what is this? Oh, I know what this is. First I thought it was like an animated movie or some sort. I was like, what is this? But moving on. Actually not moving on. Getting into the first package we are opening. And here we have a double feature from Scream Factory of Death Stock Thread, uh, Death Stock can't even speak correctly. Death Stalker, I believe it says. Death Stalker 1 and 2 on Blu-ray. This is a double feature. And I can't remember the exact price that this goes for when I looked it up, but um, it was worth getting for a profit, basically. I, I can't remember exactly what I paid for this either. I'll, it's always I put captions up of what I paid for the item and what it goes for currently, or fluctu like the range it fluctuates in, but I believe I paid, well, I'm gonna say between 10 and $15 for this. And I think this goes for about anywhere between 25 and $45 or so. So I figure why not? Decent profit, double feature from Screen Factory, Deathstalker one and two. And moving on to the next package right here. And this one is actually still sealed from the looks of it. Wow. And this one's actually, I mean, I, I wouldn't say like enormous value, but it goes for, hmm, interesting. It's definitely sealed. I don't see any te uh, tears or anything on the seal anyways, but here we have a something weird video psychedelic double feature of Swain, I don't even know like exactly what's on here. Oh, Mondo Mod and the Hippie Revolt right here. It's got a sticker. I don't know where this came from, that sticker right there. But I looked this up. I, it's going for, used is going for like $30 or so, $25 to $30, I believe. And this is a special edition of the double feature of Mondo Mod and Hippie Revolt. But new, I don't know what it goes for. I want to say I paid about like between eight or ten dollars for this. I can't remember. It could have been five dollars, but I'll put it on the screen here. So let's just say in a range of between five and ten dollars is what I paid for this. But of course, you'll see it on the screen once I edit the video and put it up. And use this goes for anyway. I think between like twenty-five and thirty dollars. Brand new, I'm not sure, but we'll see. But as you can see, it's still uh, still sealed. It's got the sticker on there, so it's pretty neat. I'm about to take this sticker off. Don't even know where that came from. And on the side here, the store I usually put pre-owned stickers, so it's kind of funny. It's like, it's not pre-owned, really. And in their eyes, it is, but to me, it's not. It's still sealed. Decent profit there, whatever this is. Never heard of it. Um, I believe it was Fluffy Gamer, so I'm just going to do a quick shout-out for you. Fluffy Gamer, if you're watching this, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I believe you got one of these in one of your videos some time ago. I can't remember exactly when, but I appreciate the knowledge watching your videos. So anyone who likes videos similar, similar to this... And just physical media and video games in general. Go check out Fluffy Gamer. He does all kinds of good stuff when it comes to out, of, out and abouts and going to on the hunt for, I think it's called Fluffy on the Hunt, looking for out of print titles and whatnot. So go check his channel out. Shout out to you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I believe that's who I found that out from. Could be Ron. Correct me in the comments down below if I am Ron. Moving on to the next package. I believe this is actually the one I got for myself. I'm not sure. Nope, it's not. But I am glad that this came with a slipcover. It's damaged. The slipcover is damaged anyhow, but whatever. And it is what it is. But here we have 
the Power Rangers Megaforce complete season on DVD. I paid, I believe it was $8 for this, comes with a slipcover. And this normally goes for, I want to say, in a range of, um, seems to be going for like $35 to $45, so. And that's without the slipcover, I believe. Even though the slipcover is damaged a bit right here on the back, still going to be some profit, especially for just paying $8. I believe that's what I paid, but here we are. Power Rangers Mega Force Complete Season on DVD. No, I know for sure this is the one I got for myself. It's the only, the specific store uses this colored envelope, so bubble mailers. And it's the only one I have left. The other ones are red, so I know that this is the one I got for myself. Might as well just get right into this. I have been waiting to get a hold of this for so long. And it goes for some money, which is why I was hoping to find it on those websites at a decent used price. Take off the pre-owned sticker because I hate when they have those on there. But here we have, this is actually from Shelf Fa uh, Factory, uh, not a print Shelf Factory title. Here we have Captain N, the Game Master, complete series on DVD. And of course, Captain N. This was a, an uh, animated cartoon series, whatever you want to call it, based off of Nintendo. And of course, the Game Master. And this came out, I don't know, let's see, 1998, I believe this is when it came out. This show, I could be wrong, but it says 1998 copyright to 2006 Nintendo. So yeah, and actually, I guess Nintendo wasn't involved with this. Nintendo Power's Captain Nintendo, the six-page story that started it all. So I think this might have been from the Nintendo Power magazines back in the day. I'm, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, but I've been trying to collect um, a lot of nostalgic... I can't remember... I do, I'm do. i sure I saw this when I was a kid, but I can't remember too much about it. But I do have the Zelda complete animated series from Shelf Factory as well. And I was trying to get a hold of this. This goes anywhere between like $80 to $100. And I paid, I want to say, $16 to $17 for this. So keeping this for myself in the future, if I decide to resell it for whatever reason, it's going to be decent profit. Because right now, currently, it goes from anywhere between like, I want to say, minimum $70 to $100 maximum. So decent deal right here for $18. But right now, this is, for me, added to my collection. Really happy about that. And we got two packages left. Moving on to the next one. And let me know in the comments down below if you guys remember that. I'm sure I've seen it. I just don't remember too much of it. I do remember the Zelda animated series, though. But keep an eye out for that one. Really out of print. Let's see. And next up, we have Dolls on DVD. Um, it's not worth that much. I think I paid about, like, $5 or so for this. I can't remember. And, um, a ghost, I want to say, is still for, like, I don't know, for, I looked it up, it was one for, like, 20 to $30, I could be wrong, but, I mean, I hate when they do this, they, like, resurfaced it, and it gives, like, that residue in the center of the disc, and some of it actually went over to, um, the disc itself, I hate when that happens. Like, I don't get it, you resurface in a disc, I don't know what that white residue is, or what it does for the disc. But it ruins the disc, if you ask me. But uh, moving on to the next package. This is Fragile. Ah, Fragile. It must be Italian. Hmm. It's got a Fragile sticker on it. I don't know what it could be. Or maybe they're just trying to protect whatever it is, no matter what it is. No matter what that it is, I should say. I don't know how to say that properly. It's got elastics all over it. It has a cardboard on it. Oh. I don't know. This one's not that valuable, but here we have Sling Blade on Blu-ray. There's so many different releases of this, and some of them, they seem to be going for different prices. I don't know which edition's which, but I, even so, like, I think I paid more than, like, 5 to $8 for this. I can't remember, but the lowest I've seen these go for is usually, like, $20 to $35, maybe, like, 40 if you're lucky, so. So, a little bit of profit, but decent profit. I have, I think, maybe one or two more of these, but I believe they're different editions. I'm not sure on the way here currently as I speak. So yeah, whether I paid five or eight, it's gonna be decent profit, little profit, but a decent profit overall. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode. This is our little stack right here. For this episode, we got uh, Sling Blade on Blu-ray. And um, I, another shout out, I wanna say that this is Mr. Nichols, I could be wrong. I just watch so many YouTubers that like look for out of print titles as well, and I find out titles from them. So I don't know. I could be wrong, but let me know in the comments down below. I want to give a shout out to you, anyways, Mr. Nichols. 
go check out his channel. I'll leave the link to the description for Nick, Mr. Nichols and um, Fluffy Gamer in the description down below. But go check out Mr. Nichols' channel. He does the same thing. He goes for his own collection anyways. He goes out looking for out-of-print titles and just stuff that he needs in his collection, period. Just like his swap meets and all that good stuff. He's become Mr. Dollars, I'll say. Mr. Dollar Bills for the fact that he's actually spending more money now recently. But I believe this year, the reason why I found out about this, I'm not sure. I think recently you picked this up or something. Let me know in the comments down below. I could be wrong. But anyways, here's a shout out for you, Mr. Nichols. Thank you. If you are the one, I appreciate it. Just wanted to put that in there. And like I said, here's our stack. We got Slim Blade, Blu-ray, Dolls DVD, Power Rangers, Mega Force DVD Complete Series, the double feature of Mondo, Mod, and Hippie Revolt. And then we got Death Stalker double feature. And for me, myself, the Captain and the Game Master on DVD. So guys, drop some comments down below. Let me know what, if you have any of these in your collection, what you thought about any of them. Have you seen any of them? Have you seen the Game Master or do you remember it? And if you're just finding out that these are worth what they're actually worth, Bolo, be on the lookout. If you didn't know, now you know. And just anything interacting to this stack here, feel free to comment down below anything related to it. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate it very much. And thanks for watching and coming back and spending more time with me. I appreciate it. But guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.